Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. And I'm Dan Cox from Essential Carpenter Tools. Now Dan's come here today to explain something that was confusing me quite a lot. Now he's, we've done a video where Daniel has put in an oblique end roof and you can watch that video, but a lot of people are gonna be saying, I need the geometry, I need the theory. So Dan is gonna try in this video to explain it as simply as possible. <laughs> Let's mm. see. Let's try. All right, Dan. So so, so this is like the, the main um, footprint of the roof at wall plates, and this is like the oblique end. So basically what we've done, we've measured down, this is the original building, measure square down and get that line across, which would be here. Right, so could I just say, you've done this this oblique end because you're following the boundary following the boundary of, of the property, of the property. And, and they wanted yes. to maximize yeah make them, the footprint yes. so it's going to be a bit of a funny shaped room basically isn't it will it, be inside, a little yeah. bit but it's a bit like a tardis actually it's got bigger for a small room okay All so right. so basically we need to square this end off so we're just going to do a little dotted line through there right so we've got our square line across from the back of the building this is our offset and on our little scale here we've got a hundred mil so half of the 100 mil is 50, so we're going to measure from there 50 mil out off of our centre line. So we go from there 50 mil out, and that is where our end common rafter will sit, which is the same size as one of these rafters. Yeah, when you say 50 mil out, this half is... Half of this offset. Yeah, so it's, we're talking in scale drawing here, aren't this we? This is just a scale 50 drawing. 50 mil, so it yeah. would be whatever. Whatever it is, so okay, if two. that was two metres, That'd be one. Then you'd go a metre off centre. Okay, gotcha. So right. we've, we've just gone 50 mil off centre. Yeah. Now I'm going to measure this length here. Yeah. And that is is about like 107 mil. So we can go up here 107 mil there. And okay. then to double check, this one is it's about 215. So we go 215 up there, which is about there. And then when we draw them across there, this is where our end common rafters will go. So that's an end common rafter there, end common rafter there, and this one from here, when it meets up there. So it's the ridge staying where the ridge is, or what? Yep, where does the, the, ridge, the ridge finishes there? That's where the ridge finishes. Okay, got so it. So on a conventional hipped roof, yeah. this end common rafter would be square there. Got it, okay. That is there, so that length is the same as an end common rafter there, and that is how we get it. So half of this length here, whatever that is, right. you come off the middle there, if that was two metres, you come off there one metre. If that was three metres, you come off of there one and a half metres. Got it, okay. Once you square it off, and yeah. then that is your end common rafter there, end common rafter there, end common rafter there. Wow. And that is it. So then you've got your hips at uh, different lengths. So we had to work out them, and they varied on our roof by yeah. three degrees. So when you put the hip in, excuse me, because everybody knows how bad a drawer I am. So you put that in hip, that hip will go in there. That is it. That's the other hip there. Now it's very important Whoa. that I kept, obviously the height above plate is the same as this. And then once we got that end common rafter in, it's the same height above plate for the hips. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously all the jacks. Now originally the architect drew it that all the rafters went parallel with the ridge. If we'd done that, they would have sat at an angle, the battens would have never gone on flat. Oh yeah. So yeah. that's important that you yeah. keep it square off of the oblique end. Because they would have gone twisted. They'd have twisted, yes. Right, so let me just say, so here, this is gonna be standard 45. No, it is whatever the angle is. So on our one, it come out seven degrees. So we had 97 degrees, it was seven degrees over. So half of 97, 43 and a half. Okay, so that's not a 45 then? No, it's out of square. Right, so the angle, so what do we need? This angle here? Yes. And then we halve that? Halve that. Because it was 97 degrees, half that was 43 and a half. Yeah. I put 43 and a half on the chop saw, then I put the, spun it round, put the plum cut, I think it was 38 degrees on, cut through it. So is the plum cut gonna be the same as all those? Yes, 38 degrees. So so whatever we've, we've arranged, we've we set up a yes. conventional roof using your magic square, yep. right? We've cut all those rafters in conventional roof. At this point here, end common rafter. It's exactly at, the same. At an angle, which is set out half of that. There, on there. 
on now. And then diagonal line down for the hip there. Yep. You've got to physically measure that hip. I just and physically measure that hip. Now, what happens to that hip angle? Because I know on a conventional hip, you just redial on your exactly. square. Grab your square yeah. for me, will you? Right. So what we would normally do on there is you would normally dial in your angle and then you, that would give you your that hip. That would. So what happens here? On this one, we had to scribe the mean because at first I was unsure and it was one and a half degrees different and we had to put a scarf joint on it. So we pull it in and actually light eyed it through. But this one, I think was 27 and a half degrees. Yeah. Where a conventional roof, it would have been 29. Yeah. And this one was 30 and a half. So you've got to scribe them in because every roof will be different depending on the angles. Mm. So if you was like 11 degrees out, it would be different again. So when you when you did that, because I was filming it, so you put a block of wood there, put a height, height above plate block, yep. which was the same as all around the rest of the roof. All those. So you stuck a height above plate block there, a height above plate block there, got a string line, did you? Or well, we not? actually got a timber down now. A straight We, we put timber. a timber down now and a straight edge and then we could see what angle it was. But yeah, yeah you could just do a line if you was on your own. You'd get a string Do line. a line and then put a, and get a plumb cut from that, put a digital finder on there. And measure the angle measure or, or even use or it. Or just put a, or uh, even a bevel. Use, even use this, couldn't you? You could put Surely. that on there. Yeah, yeah, you can put that on there and get it plumb. I think I understand that. So basically, yeah, I do understand it. whatever I mean, that is, yeah. if that is X, two metres, yeah, that's it. and that's, you come out there one metre. That's X half, right? Yep. So that, okay, let's do that. Let's not use X, because uh, that's, um, that's like Twitter. Oh, is it? Formerly known as? <laughs> Formerly known as X. Right, so that's A. Yep. <laughs> that, is, that is half A. Half A. Yeah? Yep. So that's A over two. Yep. And then, hang on a minute, we take that measurement there. Basically, we pivot it round. If you so can actually arc it round. Oh, okay, so you go, excuse me, buggering up your drawing but look it you've ruined it <laughs> something like that that's yeah. it and then the same from that one arced round and then that square across oh and that one arcs yep. up to there. there that's it oh mate that's, that's lovely it. all yeah, right so. okay so let's have your questions below if you didn't understand that but i'd say if you didn't understand it just watch it again and again and again <laughs> because we love people watching the videos, don't we? So thanks to Dan, he, thanks, he's the inventor of the square. He's also got his hinge jig out now, so take a look at that, because it's great. It's way better than anything else on the market. Is that enough of a plug for him? Because we don't pay him, you know. It's all free. <laughs> we can't afford to pay him, so the only thing he gets out of this is hopefully sells a few squares. I'm Roger Bisbee, come back and see us soon. Dan's gonna be doing more magic stuff on the channel, hopefully. Don't forget to subscribe and all that. Press the buttons. Don't forget to sign up for the Skill Builder newsletter. Security, could you please remove Mr. Cox from the building?